This next poem is called Aubergine, which is a French word. It makes that sound every time I say a word in French. It makes a little chime. That's uh, how, it, how it works. Aubergine. I lie in bed staring at the ceiling. Last night before I fell asleep, I put the book on the floor. Looking down, I see its spine with the golden, simple name of the old poet who might already be dead. Somehow he used ancient magic, everyone says we don't need anymore, to place inside me that perfect sadness. At last, after all the formal words of love, I could really imagine how terrible someday, not for 50 years or so, but still, for one of us to say goodbye it will be. Again, fear that is almost seasickness, and also surely irrational hope. By that time, I will in some way feel ready through me moves. And then asleep again, I'm wearing a dead rich man's black luxurious overcoat. Gold buttons. It is snowing in a vast wooden hallway. I am not cold. Someone laughing says, just watch them learn the same lessons. He means my children I don't have yet. I touch the head of a very important black goat and wake up again. The clock radio says a small tremor shook some part of the desert no one lives in. Tiny drones, we are flown by what we do not know into blue election season. Inevitable spells are cast by warlocks. They move their hands, and factories rise or stadiums into dust collapse. 8.10 a.m. December, San Francisco, rainy season. You pull on your boots. I call them purple. The label says aubergine. You leave for work, and by a jolt of atavistic sadness electrified, I move once again to the impassive black desk to clock in for my eternal internship at the venerable multinational not-for-profit Lucid and Dreaming. <laughs> 